Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of what of chemistry and of course in this class I'm going to be looking at what solubility solubility okay do not forget to like this video do not forget to share do not forget to subscribe to this channel okay and do not forget also that this tutorial is brought to you by the one and only O3 school jump app this is all you need to succeed in your exam ask all the past questions so no need to go and buy past questions outside ask what a classroom that has or lecture no structure according to the jump center box so no need to buy test books likewise we also have what question search feature where you can search for question according to topic and then of course we have the bomb utme mock challenge every saturday okay compete with your mates win prizes get you to pass questions, get used to what likely exam questions, see your score release every Saturday, like real jam. So, you know, good if you when they say jam, don't release results. So, please head to Play Store immediately. Download it, it's highly recommended for your short success. So, download, activate it for a small fee, and start practicing your way to success. So, what is solubility? Solubility, what is solubility? We say that was solubility of a solute in a solvent, solubility of a solute. In a solvent at a particular temperature, at a particular temperature, is the amount, is the amount, okay, in moles, okay, or what, or grams, okay, that will saturate, that will saturate. 1000 cm cube okay or 1 liter or 1 dm cube or 1000 ml of the solution at that what at that what particular temperature at that temperature Okay, so we say that solubility of a solute in a solvent at a particular temperature is the amount, amount in moles or grams, in moles or grams, that we saturate 1,000 cm cube or 1 liter or 1 dm cube or what, 1,000 ml of the solution at that what temperature. Okay, please know the definition, very easy. Is the, of the solute in the solvent, at the, is the amount, amount in moles or grams that we what, saturate 1,000 cm cube, same thing as 1 liter, same thing as 1 dm cube, same thing as 1,000 ml. So, do you not know, confuse them, okay, of the solution at that what temperature, all right? So, apart from gram per dm cube and mole per dm cube, okay, solubility also takes the form of what? Gram per 100 gram of water. Gram per what? 100 gram of water, okay? Gram per 100 gram of what of water. Okay, apart from mole per dm cube, apart from uh, uh, gram per dm cube, solubility also takes the form of what gram per what 100 gram of water. All right, it is very important to know that many solids and liquids are soluble at what higher temperature at very what high temperatures. Okay, many solids and liquids are soluble at high temperature, except for hydrogen chloride gas. Hydrogen chloride gas. Okay. Hydrogen what? Chloride what? Gas. Okay. Uh, hydrogen chloride gas at 20 degrees Celsius. Hydrogen chloride gas at 20 degrees Celsius. Okay. That's 68, approximately 68 uh, Fahrenheit. Okay. Water would dissolve what? As much, it will to dissolve what? 477 times its volume. Okay. Of hydrogen chloride. Okay, water will dissolve 477 times its own volume of what? Hydrogen chloride at 20 degrees Celsius. At 20 degrees Celsius or 68 uh, Fahrenheit. Okay, at what? 20 degrees Celsius or 68 what? Degree Fahrenheit. Water will dissolve its own volume, will dissolve 477 times. 477 times. Okay, we dissolve 477 times its own volume of hydrogen chloride. Hydrogen chloride is very, very, very well soluble. It's very, very soluble. Because of its solubility, in fact, uh, we say that what hydrogen chloride gas is what? It's moist. Okay, it fumes rather. It fumes in what? In moist hair. Okay, in moist hair. Okay, we say that hydrogen chloride gas fumes in moist hair because of its great what? Solubility. All right? So now, likewise, it's also important to know that our solubility, okay, and molarity are similar. Solubility and molarity are similar. Solubility and 
molarity are what similar first of all both of them they are what they are what unit of what of the measures of concentration okay we are saying that what that solubility solubility and molarity they are what they are similar okay because first of all both of them they are what they are measures of concentration they are measures of what of concentration all right and of course their unit also is also what similar it's very very what similar okay the unit are all the same okay so solubility and molarity and concentration can use them in the same what you can use them in the same sentence you can almost use them in the same sentence all right so now i want to look for quickly take what some methods that we can use to work to calculate solubility all right i want to watch look at some method that we use to work in calculating solubility so let's quickly derive some formulas in the next episode we are going to just take questions calculations in solubility and we'll be done with solubility all right but for now let's derive what some formulas that we're going to what use in solving questions that what uh come out from what from solubility all right so firstly we know that what number of moles uh we know that what number of moles is what concentration in what in volume oh, sorry concentration in mole per dm cube in mole per dm cube okay times what volume of what solvent okay this one is what is in cm cube okay so we, we know that what number of moles is what concentration concentration in what in mole per dm cube times volume of solvent in centimeter cube all over what 1000 okay you are not you are not going to tell me that this formula this is the first time you are seeing this if i'm close to you now i will knock you okay so this formula is what it is well in fact this is not the first time i'm talking about this formula in our what in our chemistry class all right so please take note this is what number of moles is equal to what concentration with in mole per dm cube times volume of solvent in cm cube but remember that what when the word volume is in dm cube okay we're not going to what put 1000 on that remember right so in that case number of moles will just go to what now cv this one volume is in what in dm cube i don't go, i don't want to have what cv so please take note of that and what and uh, no peace all right so having known this now we know that what we have said already just now that what that concentration that concentration the same thing as what as solubility. You say the same thing as what as molarity. All right. Remember when we said that we said our concentration and solubility is what is molarity. We know that what number of moles. Okay, we can calculate what uh, uh, number of moles. Number of moles is given as what. We also know that number of moles is also given as what given mass of solute. That is mass of solute. All over what mass of what so, so that all over what molar mass of what molar mass of solute okay so this is another formula for what for number of moles okay we know that what number of moles is what mass over molar mass okay so forget all this giving mass i'm putting and giving mass before you now confuse the same thing as what mass over what molar mass that is what number of moles okay so now that means number of moles. This is number of moles. This is number of moles. That means that we can now what uh, equate the two of them because they are both the same thing. All right. So that what we're not going to have that given mass, given mass of solute over molar mass of solute is equal to what now? Uh, concentration, concentration. Okay, times what? Times volume. All over what now? All over 1,000. All right? All over 1,000. Also, we have already seen or talked about the fact that what? Concentration is same thing as solubility. So, in place of concentration, we can simply go put what solubility there. All right? So, simple as ABC, right? So, let's continue. So, instead of concentration here, yeah, we can just what? Change it to what? To solubility. We can change it to solubility because it's the same thing as concentration, same thing as what? Molarity. So, we can say what? Uh, solubility because of space to not afford me to what to rewrite this again okay so so given mass of solute over molar mass of the solute is called solubility times volume over what over 1000 all right so we can now find what makes solubility the subject of the formula see if you don't know mass hmm, 
you will be doing yourself a great disservice. So please make sure that what your math skills are what are very sharp. So we want to look for what solubility now. So what you simply do is cross multiply, then do uh, I'm not going to what bring I'm not going to treat it as if you are in primary school. Okay, so solubility is coming to the right hand side. We're making it subject of the question so that solubility now is will be because to what now? Of course, this and this will multiply. That means this one will be they will be under. So I'm going to you are going to have what given mass this times this. Giving mass of solute times 1000, okay, all over what now? All over what? Molar mass of solute times volume. Molar mass of solute times what? Times volume. All right, I don't know if I'm writing out of the board yet, but of course, if you if you are seeing this very clearly, then of course you understand. Okay, so solubility now, my main solubility is subject to the formula. Giving mass of the solute times 1000, all right, all over what? Molar mass of the solute, okay, times what? Times the volume that is left here, all right? So of course, giving mass to represent a, a mass of solute to start with M, that means we can write here that our solubility, S is cost to what now? Giving mass, mass of the solute is M times what? Times 1000. All over what now? Molar mass of solute is what? Represented as W. Okay, then times what? Times volume. Okay, so this will be the formula for what? For solubility. Okay, this will be the formula for, sol for, for solubility when the volume that is given is in what? It's in CMQ. In CMQ. When volume, okay, when V, V is in what? It's in CMQ. That will be the unit of what? Of solubility. Okay, when volume is in CMQ, the unit of solubility will be what? Uh, so the formula for solubility will be M times 1000 all over W times V. But if it is in DMQ, okay, of course, we're going to what? Remove all this 1000 here. So I'm going to just simply have what? Uh, S is equal to what now? Uh, M over what? WV. Okay? Over WV. If, if V is in what? DMQ. So you must understand, you must understand them so that you know how you can what? Play with them. Okay, so having known that also, it's also necessary to know that what that this is mass. W is what molar mass. Okay, what is mass of a molar mass? Come back to our, our this thing. Mass of a molar mass is what it's number of moles. That means that we can also what this m over w we can what turn it to what to m. Okay, so uh, uh, that means that what solubility also is also because of what now since m over w is what uh, is what is n. So we are going to have n over what over v. Also, as another formula for what? For solubility. Yeah, the reason why S is N over V is because M over W is what? Is N. All right, so please take note of what? Of all those what? Formulas. Take note of all those what? Formulas. Very, very necessary that you what? You take note of them. All right, so yeah, you already know that what? N is number of moles, V is volume. Yeah, M is mass. Okay, yes, what? Molar mass. This is volume, okay? So everything is what is is easy peasy, okay? So likewise, now it's also necessary for us to know that when solubility is needed in gram per dm cube, okay? When solubility is needed in gram per dm cube, what we do is that what we simply remove the W from the formula, okay? We simply will remove what the W, the W from the formula, okay? When the solubility is needed in what in gram per dm cube. What we do is to remove W from the formula. So I'm going to have 1000 all over what? WV. So sorry, 1000, 1000 M all over what now? All over V. Okay. When the what? When the mass, when the mass is needed, when the sorry, when the solubility is needed in gram per DMQ, we simply remove what? The W. All right. From the what? From the formula. All right. So know this and what and no piece. Also, also bear in mind that solubility in gram per DMQ is the same thing as what? As solubility in mole per dm cube times molar mass in gram per mole. Okay, solubility in what in gram per dm cube is something as well. Solubility in what in mole per dm cube times what times molar mass in what in gram per mole. Okay, let me show you that. I'm saying that what solubility now in gram per dm cube. Solubility in gram per dm cube is equal to what solubility in mole per dm cube times molar mass in what? In gram per mole. All right? So please take note of what? Of that what? Of that formula also. So we're looking for solubility in gram per dm cube. Okay? It's same thing as what? Solubility. If I do in solubility in mole per dm cube, 
right? Just multiply by the molar mass to get what's solubility in gram per dm cube. So that, that, these ones are all formulas. So, so please just take note of them. All right, all these formulas. Take note of them. All right. So take note of this one. Take note of what this one. Take note of what of this one also. All right. So I've given like what? How many formulas now? <laughs> I think we have uh, one, two, three. Uh, four, five, five formulas. All right. So even from here, I want to count all this one. There are many. All right. So please make sure what you take note of what of all these things. Okay. Sometimes volume of solvent is not given. Okay. Sometimes the volume of the solvent may not be given. Let me just wipe this out of hard space. Sometimes the volume of solvent will not be given, but will be given the density. Okay. So if I give you the density, we can what we can now look for what for volume. All right. So sometimes we are not giving what the volume. Sometimes we're not giving volume of solvent. We're not giving volume of something, but volume of solvent. We are giving the density. We are giving the what? The mass. Okay? So we can look for what? And look for volume. Okay? We know that what density is what? It's mass over what? Over volume. Okay? In case you have thrown it away. Okay? Density is mass divided by volume. So if we want to find volume. Volume will be because of what now? Uh, will be because of. We are looking for volume now, all right? So, we've got to what now? Mass over what? Over density, all right? All right so, this one is another word formula, okay? So, for, for, for the case where we are not giving what? Volume, okay? But we are giving the density. We are not giving volume of the solvent, but we are giving what density and what? A mass, okay? We can easily what, find what? The volume also. So, volume is what? It's mass over density. Now, for water as a solvent, if water, if water is what is the what is the solvent you are using, its density is what one gram per centimeter cube. Okay, density of water is what is one gram per centimeter what cube. Okay, so if if uh sorry, if the solvent you want to use is what is water. Okay, its density will be what one gram per centimeter what cube. This means that what x gram of water will occupy x gram uh, x centimeter cube. This means that what x gram of water we will, will occupy will occupy what x centimeter cube please take note of that it means that what s gram of what of water okay we will, will occupy what x centimeter cube so that for example in a question if i give him that what 300 gram okay we are giving the mass of solvent okay to be what 300 gram if you say the mass of solvent if i give you the question that mass of solvent is what is 300 gram okay because it's one gram per centimeter cube that means in one gram there's one centimeter cube okay that's why i was saying s gram will, will occupy x centimeter cube okay so that means 300 gram will occupy what 300 centimeter what cube there's one past questions where one past question where they actually what uh use this into dc but it's not actually a question on that solubility i think it was when we we're doing heat of formation or combustion okay when we we're giving what we're giving gram instead of giving volume. We're supposed to, to be giving volume, but we're giving gram. All right. So what to just to just will convert to, to okay. I mean, we needed to it to be in gram, but we're giving volume. So just know that what that if water is a solvent, eh? If water is a solvent, the density is what one gram per centimeter cube. And this will mean that what s gram will occupy x centimeter cube. And this will mean that if in the question we're giving that the mass of the solvent is 300 gram or 200 gram, that means that what the volume will be what 200 what centimeter cube and vice versa. All right. So please. This is where we are going to what? stop. In the next episode, we are going to dedicate it only to what? To solving questions. I'd like to see you there. Thank you for watching.